Hello. Today I'll be showing you the basic functions of VMDBoo. This is going to be a two-part tutorial. This first part will teach you the basic functions of VMDBoo and how to work around in it. The second part will teach you how to import and export motions, camera, pictures, and videos. The first thing you want to do is open up VMDBoo if you don't have it open already. I'm working in PMX Editor, though it should be the same in both. Just go under this I tab and click on VMD View. This screen will pop up. I'll make it full screen so it, it could be seen better. What we want to look at today is this tab, which has a V. So first you want to click on it, and this will pop up. As you can see, some of them have shortcuts. The first one is either shortcut control S, or just click on it here, and this for plays around with the color of the shadows, the directions of the shadows, and the color of the background. This here, it changes the color of the background, the black background you see here. So if you click on it, you can change the color of the background to whatever you please. This white one here is the overall shadow of the model. And this gray one here, it is the ground shadow. You can click this button to reset it. And this part works the same as in MMD, where if you play around with these sliders, you can change the direction of the ground shadow. I'm going to open it back up again. The next thing we want to look at is over here, this X. This turns on and off the axis. Next is this one, which is the E, and this works with the edge line, so you could make it bigger, smaller, same as an MMD. So you can make the edge line however you please. I'm going to leave minus this. Next one is this one that says tune, and as a kind of self-explains, this turns on and off the tunes of the model. So click on this one to turn them off, or these two to play around with which tunes you think look better. Next you want to look at this H, and this just turns on and off the overall shadows. Next you want to look at this one with C, and if you click on it, this works with the shadows, so you can increase them, decrease them, and if you don't like it, this button here, just click on it to reset it. This minimizes or makes brighter the ground shadow. This does works with the hair shadow. Next, you want to look at this one with the D. This turns on and off the hair shadows. Kind of like the second one you saw in the previous one. L turns on and off the ground shadow. For this one, this turns on and off the bone view. You can either click Control L or click on this and the bones will appear. I'm going to keep them on for now. Next you want to look at this P, and this turns on and off the physics. It, you can't really look at it now, but you can see it later in the second part of the tutorial. And you click this one, it turns on and off the joints and the polygons and stuff. And this one, I'll explain it better in the second part of the tutorial, but this is where you could load poses, or if you change the post, you could click on this to reset it to the default one. If you click on this button here, it's the play button. So if you play it, you can see how your model would look like if you opened it up in MMD and put the physics on. This is really helpful, because then you don't have to always save and quit and go to MMD to test your model. You could just test it using use it VMD view. So to pause this and go back to 
this tab, you see here the physics are on. If you unclick it, this will turn the physics off. So if you play it, the physics won't move at all. Kind of like if you just turned off the physics in MMD. That concludes this part of the tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll also post a link to the second part of the tutorial there too. Thank you for watching.